السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اسرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وأهل الأبدة من لساني يفقه القول بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن شاء الله topic for today is إقرأ what is إقرأ and what do it entails Ikra means read or recite. This was the first verse revealed to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ikra bismi rabbika allazi khalaqa. Read in the name of your Lord who created. So each and every Muslim should try to read in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ikra bismi rabbika allazi khalaqa. And Islam entails peace and also Islam entails understanding. So as believers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should try to understand the proper teachings of Islam. We are not meant to know everything and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that no man is perfect. But things that are obligatory upon us, we should try to learn it. For example, things like salah, our five daily prayers. When we make mistakes in salah, how to rectify those mistakes and what are the things that we should recite in our prayers. These are things that we should, each and every Muslim should know as believers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also when we make any mistake in salah, like Kabla salam and Ba'da salam, all these are things that we need to learn as believers because this is the purpose of Islam. So as believers, we should try to learn the obligatory things that are upon every believer and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed Ikra for us to read and also in some ayahs on some chapters Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said um, like in Surah Anbiya chapter 7 and other Quranic verses Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said but a'uzu billahi min shaitani rajim bismillahi rahmani rahim um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Ambiya, First Allah has zikr in kuntum la ta'alamun. First Allah has zikr in kuntum la ta'alamun. If you do not know, ask those who know. So this is part of Islam. So these are part of Islam and it's also something that each and every Muslim needs to work and as believers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is advising us and also encouraging us that if we do not know anything, let us ask. So it is upon every Muslim to learn our religion and also to ask questions. To ask questions about Islam and also to make sure that anything that we don't know, we try to ask um, the scholars of Islam and also to try to buttress on the teachings of Islam, the Hadith and the Quranic verses and also that we should try to understand how to read the Quran etc because like in the Muslim Ummah in lots of places subhanallah it is very um, sad sometimes when you think of it lots of Muslims do not know how to read the Quran properly not only how to read the Quran properly but some they don't even know alphabets if you saw them any alphabet they would not be able to tell you what is Alif what is Ba etc and these are very much important that we should try to know because if you look at our Muslim societies today, we can recite A, B, C, D and we can know how to read lots of books, etc. But when it comes to Islam, few people know how to read the Quran properly or the alphabet. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy and may Allah continue to guide us. Jazakumullah khairan everyone.